Welcome, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review. Today, we're going to take a look at a distillery we have never tried before, Nakadu. Cadenhead Single Cast Series, Nakadu 10, 54.8% ABV. Dustin, tell you a little bit about this bottle. Distilled back in 2006, bottled in 2017. It's from a bourbon hogshead, 222 total bottles. You picked this up at, uh, what was it, Party Source? Party Source, yeah. There in Bellevue, Kentucky, while you were there, and you said, Mike, this bottle's on sale for $50. You, I'm thinking about getting it. And I said, Dustin, I'll split it with you. 25 bucks a piece. Who cares? Yeah. If it's terrible, that's what some of our pours cost. Yep, that's what happens. Uh, so Dustin took half this bottle and gave me the other half. As you can see, it's pretty much still right there. I've had a few runs with it, but uh, we'll tell you. Now, one thing I actually did not realize here is this was actually selected for the party source. Mm -hmm. So they actually... Party source exclusive. They were involved. Well, yeah, they were involved in this. And uh, on top of that, single cast, most of these, you know, in this little short stubby bottle were um, small batch, mm -hmm. as we know. So mm -hmm. single cast, a little different. A little different. Very, very light whiskey. One, probably one of the lightest whiskeys I've ever reviewed. Maybe the lightest whiskey we've ever reviewed. I'd like to compare this to like the Talisker 8, the rum one, maybe. but that's Or like Lagavulin 8 or something like that. I don't want to ever pour another Lagavulin 8, Mike. But it like one eight might be a little bit actually darker than this. This one's very. It very probably light. is. It's all. It's all probably colored. All right. So let's get to it, Dustin. Yeah. So, right off the bat, Mike, what I'm really kind of picking up here, and I think part of why we thought we would do this is to kind of just get an idea of what Nakadu's. Yeah, yeah. Is I, like. I, I, I've heard about this before. I mean, probably not the best place to start a single barrel Caden head, but whatever. Yeah, but I'm tell you what, Nakadu's got a fruity as hell malt. Like this is just fruity. It's also very stringent. Well, yeah, but I'm thinking that's the fact that it was only aged 10 years and it's a cast strength and it just needed another <sighs> five years in the cask. At least. But I'm thinking the malt itself here is a really fruity, interesting, you know, kind of malt. I mean, I'm thinking like Trix candy, like not candy, but um, Trix um, cereal. Wow, it's a leap. Um, I'm thinking sour, astringent, bitter, bitter oak. And alcohol. Well, again, I'm trying to I'm trying to highlight the malt and not the fact that this is ten years old. This is a terrible bottling, and I don't know why anybody chose to use this <clears throat> cask. I can't believe you're talking about this. I am. In, this is the worst Caden head I've ever ever bought. By far. And I mean, yeah. When you say by far, I mean we're talking. By far, by far. By epic. No, you know, though no, it did come with this little, uh, cool little uh, metal piece. So that we got that. I should have put a warning on it. <laughs> And you know what's funny, Mike, is I've actually you know bought a few of these um, party source kind of exclusives, and they've always been exceptional, but yeah. I've never bought a 10-year-old. Well, this one isn't. And I probably should have paid more attention to that color, right? It's in a black box. It made it look like it had some color. Maybe I'm getting some lime. There's absolutely lemon lime. Sure. Here Again, if you can ignore that um, bready oak note, and then you can ignore the sour note that's it's... coming because it smells like it's right off the still... <laughs> then you can ignore anything. I get that. <laughs> then you might as well be in the Matrix because you can control reality around hey, you. Hey, look, I'm just trying to give the people an idea of what mm. Nakadu's malt is doing here versus the fact that they decided to bottle a whiskey that was nowhere close to ready. I'll tell you what I'll tell you about this bottle. Nakadu don't. <laughs> and you know, is... the truth is they may have chosen to bottle this one for a real simple reason, Mike. It already was getting shitty oak notes. I keep I keep wanting to drop out uh, the S bomb here, but it's it's a bad cask. Mm. Like uh, the oak notes here are just not pleasant. Mm. I'm gonna take a sip. Maybe water will help this thing. I don't know. I will say this, Mike. I don't know if Jesus could help this. It tastes better than it smells. Okay. Um, very sweet. Uh. Very sweet malt. You ever see Starsky and Hutch? The movie? Remember, he's, remember when Snoop Dogg was like, hey, nice, nice car, I've Starsky? Seen it, I don't remember. And he's like, that moves you up a point in my book. That puts you at one. That, that's what I feel about the ballot. <laughs> puts you at one. It's better. Like I said, man, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to give the people an idea of what the Nakadu malt's doing here. It's very fruity, very sweet. Unfortunately, again, this it, bottling is... Honestly, Mike, I feel like we're drinking new make where they like put artificial oak in it to give it an oak note. All the notes you would think of from like a, just a straight new make are here, and then they've like added like oak extract. 
But you know what I feel like? You ever seen the movie Zombie Land? Yeah. I feel like the world came to an end and you walked into a Wendy's like six years after it was closed. I want to bring this thing way down. And you want you came into a make you more, know, more, more. You came into a Wendy's six years after it was closed. And there was still something left in the frosty machine. And you had that. Actually, you don't like you mean like a whole straw. I'm telling you, I want to. I want water. I want to see if there's something that's coming out of here. Yeah, just give it a little splash. That's good. Nope, I ain't doing it. I got 250 bottles of single, single malt scotch right there. I ain't doing this. All right, so heavy, heavy water. <laughs> it has. Um, it's actually killed a lot of the really terrible notes. Right. I hope so. You got a nose. Seriously, with all the water. See what you think. That sour just little, dropped little, down little, a lot. A little bit of fruit. All right, the fruits I'll, come out. I'll be. I'll go reengage. It, it's hiding some of those terrible notes. Now, at this point, I think this is like thirty <laughs> percent. No. no, this isn't good. More citrus fruit. Oh God, no! No, Mike, no. God, no. Sour, bitter oak just came back in waves. Do you want to give a whiskey score? Because I don't. Knockadoo, Cadenhead. They got to make better whiskey, right? But again, I'm, I'm well, well, Cadenhead, I don't know why the hell you bottled this. It's way too young. But I got to say, Knockadoo's malt is fruity, sweet malt. I bet you when the... I think this is going to be a good malt when we get it 30 years old. Dude, if I didn't like somebody, I wouldn't hit him with this bottle. Again. It's that bad. But again, Mike, my... my Whole purpose of buying this because it was twenty five bucks was just to get. You said you think this will be interesting, and I said, "Well, what do you think?" And you said, "Well, it's only fifty dollars." I said, "Well, fuck it." I'll, I said, "I'll split it with you." Yeah, no, no I get it. Obviously, I didn't. Ex- I didn't realize. I didn't think Cadenhead would. This let, is not. How we I did not let. I did not. What I did not think Cadenhead, which me? is owned by Springbank. You know, this is a terrible. Decision. This is not how we make decisions anymore on whiskey. Uh, again, I'm done with this, folks. <laughs> until next time. Drink anything better than this. Right, bye.